Hello, this is Kieran and welcome to another episode of The Truth About Men. Now, I am sure that every woman watching me right now has had a situation happen where you've been at a bar or a club with your friends and you're having fun, you're dancing, whatever. And there's a man stood 20 feet away and he's looking at you specifically. He's on his own, he's drinking a drink, he's drinking his beer and he just keeps looking. And maybe that happens for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 25 minutes. He never walks over, but he keeps staring. And it's really creepy, isn't it? It's creepy as all hell. Your skin crawls. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what he's thinking. You feel awkward. Eventually, you just move. You leave somewhere with your friends. What I'm here to talk about today is what is usually going on in the man's mind in that situation because it might surprise him. Fundamentally, it's like this. As a man, if we are going to get with a, a woman, we need to make the first move, by and large. 95 times out of 100, 99 times out of 100, it's the man who makes the first move. The thing is that it's very scary for us. Now, that might be hard to believe because when men approach you, they seem really cocky and arrogant, but that is a mask that we put on so that we feel masculine. It's a very tough thing to do, to walk up to another human being and say, I'm interested in you, are you interested in me? The man who is in the bar, he's actually just scared. He's very scared. And as he's drinking, he's trying to psych himself up. He's trying to psych himself up to give himself the confidence to actually approach. What you might be thinking of it as is like, yeah, yeah, or something. In his mind, he's thinking, oh, come on. Okay, I need to do it. I need to do it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Come on, don't be, don't be such a wimp. Come on. That's the kind of thing that's going on. Something that I have come to learn about creepiness over the years as a result of working with so many men is that creepiness might surprise you. People tend to think of creepiness as being like sexual as in a man's like, yeah, yeah, come here, yeah. There is an element of that. But effectively, creepiness from, from my experience and from what I've seen with the thousands of men that I've worked with in some capacity over the years is that if you imagine a man's sexual intent or a man's personality, let's say his personality, to be like a river, right? It's like a river. And if you imagine that that river is gonna have water flowing in one direction, creepiness arises when there's a blockage in that river or when there's like competing forces you know, the water in the river is going in two opposite directions. That then causes like the man in question to be scared, to be nervous, to look odd, to look odd. So this man in the bar, he hasn't just walked up to you. If, his, if the water of his river, the river of his personality, if that was just flowing in one direction, he would have seen you and immediately walked over to you and said, excuse me, my name is Kieran. I had to introduce myself to you because I think you look beautiful. And you wouldn't have found him to be creepy. You would have either been flattered, aroused maybe, humorous, or you would have said, go away, we're not interested. But you wouldn't have found that creepy if you just did it. And this is the point. The creepiness usually comes from the fact that the man has got competing thoughts going on in his mind, that there's things that he's scared about and that he's insecure about, you know? he's thinking more than one thing at a time and his thoughts don't really match up with what he's trying to do from my experience that's where creepiness actually comes from i personally have seen men and i've been in situations myself where i'm with women and i have said things to those women that if said in the news would have been classed as creepy but because it came from a genuine and authentic place as i said it and I wasn't masking anything, it wasn't perceived as creepy in the moment. So that is all I want to say about um, creepiness, or at least about that specific expression of creepiness.
If you have any questions, then let me know. If you disagree with what I said, then let me know. But I am Kieran. This has been an episode of The Truth About Men. Thank you for watching. Please do slam the notification bell. Well, subscribe first, but also slam that bell because if not, then you won't be notified when I make new videos. Take care. See you later. Toodaloo. Au revoir and arrivederci.